Okay. Today is a pretty much work day. Okay. As you can see, you have a big ideas assignment. No. Okay. Yay. It is 8.2 and 8.4. It's 16 questions. Oh, all together? Eight, all yes. together. There are eight on each. But. Okay. What are you? Raise your hand. Callie, iPad away, or I will take it. Raise your hand if you are completely done with A, B, C, and D. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is we are finishing that. We are finishing A, B, C, and D. Once you are done with that, I have a worksheet you need to complete. Okay? Okay. Worksheet one and two, just front and back. Worksheet one looks like this. If this has three nets, because there are five shown, you have to figure out which three are actual nets. Two of them, when you fold them, do not actually create a shape. So you need to look at this and decide which of these two would not create an actual shape. On the back, oh, and then it asks you questions. You need to follow the questions. Can you cut them out? No, you're not going to cut them out. The goal is for you to just look at this and know if it's folded, if it would make a shape or not. Okay? How many sides does a rectangular prism have? How many faces? Four, three, five, five, six, four, six. Six. A cube and like a prism, rectangular prism, they have six faces. So if there are some on here that are supposed to look like this, but they only have five, it is not a prism. It is not a correct net. So it's going to ask you to find the volume of one of them and then the surface area on three of them. The back. You're doing the same thing. Five of them are correct nets. You have to find them and circle them. So three of them are not. Okay, and then you on this page, you only find the surface area. So nets are, but they do make a shape? Nets may always make a shape. Okay, so there's someone here that do not actually make a shape, so they're not correct nets. Awesome. Okay, so, what? so once you find the surface area, Check with me first when you find all of them so I can tell you if you're right or wrong because I don't want you finding the surface area of one of them that's not correct. That's just extra work for you. So check with me first. And then once you're done with this, I will check it. You'll turn it in and you can start your homework. Okay, the worksheet shouldn't take you too long, probably like 20 minutes, and then you'll have the rest of the time for the homework. 20 minutes. Are there any questions? No. Kenley? Um, I have a question about one. So what if they, because it would make a shape, but it would end up overlapping. Like so then it's not correct. It has to meet exact at the edges. Okay. But first we're going to go over a few examples because I want to make sure you know it. 8.2 is all about surface area. What is surface area? Um, Cameron. Is it all about height? No. Isaac? So the areas added up Good. Surface area is all of the areas added up together. 8.4 is going to be the volume. What is the volume? Okay, Haley? Isn't it like length times width times height? Yes. Length times width times height is volume. You're going to see a lot of these on your homework. Almost all of them are with these fractions. Today? Yes, which is why we're going to go over an example. How do you multiply fractions? You go across. You multiply across. That's all you do. So you're just multiplying the numbers across. We'll go over an example. Cameron? I think Big Ideas is going to make you change them to mixed numbers. Yeah, I know that you have to reduce them, but I think it is going to ask you to do a mixed number. If I have this, how do I find the surface area? If, what if, first of all, what is this called? What is this shape called? Cube. 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 Okay. Is it a square prism? Is that a? I, it's, it's officially called a cube. But okay. We'll go cube then. Square prism works well too. Okay. Kind of like tomato, tomato. Okay. <laughs> cube. What do I do to start if I want to find the surface area? Well, Isaac, the area of what? Okay, uh, so, so we would have base times height. What is my base times height? Uh, Mari. Four and four. So I'd have four times four, which is four. 
average equals 16. Yes. Then what do I do? So I just found my area of this front one. Oh. Kinley? Um, we need to figure out the side ones, okay. Since it's a cube, are all of the faces the exact yes. same? Yes. 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 So, times 16. good. So all I have to do is do 16 times 6. Anyone know? It is 96. Wow. 16 times 6. And it's inches squared. That's my surface area. So that means that's the area of the whole thing. Okay. What about this one? What is this one called? Rectangle. Um, okay, good. Rectangle. What's the correct term called? Do you know, Mia? Is it, Mia, is it a prism or a pyramid? Prism. And what, what shape did you say? Rectangular prism. Good. So rectangular prism. Okay. What do I do to find this one? Alex. Is it multiply all of the numbers? Yes. Let me change this. How do you multiply three fractions? Well, aren't you glad I'm going to show you how? Okay. First, Kimley, what do you think? Okay, I was going to say, um, couldn't you do like 10 times 6 to figure out the like front ones? And uh -huh. then that would be times 2 because there's two of those. And then 4 times 10, and there would be two more of those. But I don't know. Okay, so this 10 times 6, we got 60. That is the front, and that is the back. So this one right here, and then the back. Yeah. Okay, if I do that times two, I would get 120. Yep. I'm multiplying it by two because this one is 60 and the back is 60. We have two of them. Or you can add them. Do you want me to do that? No. Okay. <laughs> what do I do next? Oh, uh, you would do the square. The squares at the bottom, so it would be four times four, right? It's not a square. Because if this is six and this is four. So remember we said it's a rectangular oh, prism. Oh, so we six times four. Good. So we did six times four, we get 24. So that 24 represents right here, the base. So times that by two. Times that by two. 48. It equals 48, because that's the top and the bottom. And then have to times those. Then I have to multiply those? No, I don't know. Mari, what do you think? Um, would you do 10 times four? You would do 10 times 4 because that's our side over here. Our length is 10 and our width is 4. Okay? So if it's a rectangular prism, you're most likely going to have to find three different ones. Okay? So this one would be 10 times 4 equals 40 times 2 equals 80. Now what do I do? Fashion, what do I do now? Yes, ma'am. We're going to add them all together. 120 plus 80 is 200. 200 plus 48 is 248 centimeters squared. So that is our surface area of this one. You need to make sure you're paying attention to which side you're doing, which faces. Okay. This one, I want to find the volume. What is my formula for volume? Alex, what do you think? Uh, length times width times height. Length times width times height. Okay. My length is six fifths. My width is three fourths, Alex. And my height is one half. All I'm going to do is multiply across. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 times 1 is 18. Five times 4 is 20. 20 times 2 is 40. Is this my final answer? No. What do I have to do? I have to simplify. What can I reduce this by, Haley? 2. 2. 
Okay. If I divided by two, I would get nine over 20. That's my final answer. Okay. Are there any questions? Questions. Alex? So I can hear a multiple on number two. So why, uh, why do you have to put parentheses around for one to You do not have to put parentheses. You can use this. You can use the dot or you can use the times, whatever you want. Or I can just put numbers. Well, you need to put something between the two numbers. Or should this one like 600 or 100? Yes. Do we need to label that shape here? Yes. It would be inches squared. Uh, oh, no. Inches cubed. Inches cubed. There we go. Volume is cubed. Isaac? So we have to do the, we have to find all the surface area on our worksheet. So read the instructions because you're only, you're not doing anything with the ones that aren't nets. So you're only calculating the ones that are nets. And some of them, um, there's one time you're going to have to um, solve for volume on the worksheet and that's it. The rest are surface area. These two are surface area. This is volume.